response to Mitch McConnell today, who uh, had some strong words for the president, called his speech a rant, incoherent, profoundly unpresidential. But he also accused the president of shouting that 52 senators and millions of Americans are racist unless he gets what he, whatever he wants. Well, uh, I know the president was asked about this and said, a, a version of this, I should say, and he said uh, he considers uh, Mitch McConnell a friend, and, and that is true. Uh, that is why is it even more disappointing that someone who has supported and advocated for voting rights uh, in the past, wrote about it in his book, has talked about it publicly, and repeatedly uh, voted for the extension of voting rights protections, uh, is on the other side of this argument now. Um, you know, and I, I, I think it clearly struck a nerve, the president's speech yesterday and the vice president's remarks. I think there's evidence of that. But to us and to the president, what is more uh, irresponsible, unbecoming, and divisive is the coordinated effort by far too many Republicans across the country to perpetuate the big lie and make it more difficult to vote. Uh, and we are seeing evidence of that in 19 states who pass, which passed 34 laws attacking voting rights. That's why he's standing up and made the passionate case he made yesterday. 